Hi, it's Chubi once again with a full summary of the events of Shoujo Tsubaki, the animated movie, for those who are too squeamish to watch it. I will not be showing any visuals. The movie is in the description if you want to watch it. Trigger warnings are also in the description. The animated movie begins with a series of artistically disturbing drawings of body horror, and next, a scene introducing the characters in the form of a circus act. The characters are listed in the manga as Midori the Camellia Girl, Masamitsu the Bottle of Wonder, Mr. Arashi, Akaza the Giant, Benitsu the Snake Woman, Muchisute the Mummy Man, Kanabun the Boy Girl, the Human Worm, and Hoichi the Human Pretzel. The next scene shows how Midori came to the circus. She's seen under a bridge selling origami camellias and a man approaches her, telling her to come to him if anything goes wrong. She then finds her mother to have died and is implied to have approached that man, getting her hired by the circus. Next, Arashi attempts and fails to entertain a group of children who hadn't paid for his time. Once they say this, he quickly forces them to leave. In the next scene, Midori wakes up and finds Benitsu and Akaza having sex. She gets up to leave, but in the next room over, Arashi is seen looking Kanabun's eye. Next is the morning, Midori goes out to feed three homeless puppies who she'd been raising on her own. Midori leaves and Kanabun comes outside. She kills each of the puppies and cooks them into a stew which she feeds to the rest of the group who saved from starving. Midori be begins crying and is next seen looking out at the trains and calling to them. Benitsu hits her on the head and tells her to come back, saying that she needs to earn her place just like everyone else. Next is a few seconds of the circus members practicing their individual talents, and then Midori is seen sleeping on a cold and windy night. Mochisute comes in and assaults her. The next scene shows Kanabun doing her fire trick. She turns around and pisses standing up, which is how Midori learns that she's trans. Midori is then told to watch Hohichi as his body is too deformed for him to do it himself. The human worm makes sexual advances towards Midori, and she runs away screaming. She's caught by the others. The movie then cuts to a nightmare that Midori has about her father. He sits in the corner of a dark room eating a cucumber. Midori's body be begins to contort in impossible ways and the circus members appear laughing at her for it. Midori yells for her father to help, but he doesn't. Midori wakes up with some sort of sickness. Benitsu tries to tempt Arashi into paying her more with sexual favors. He shows no interest and declines because he's gay. Next is a conversation between Mochisuke and Akaza where they explain that the circus is running low on money and then force Midori to leave because they don't want to catch her sickness. A short clip shows Midori calling to the trains again before Masamitsu is revealed. He climbs out of a small glass bottle, that being his magic, and shows romantic interest in Midori. There are a few short scenes showing that they've supposedly fallen in love with each other despite this being just as harmful as Arashi and Kanabun's relationship. Masamitsu does his first act on stage where he steals the spotlight away from him everyone else by simply climbing into a bottle. He thanks Midori for being his assistant, even though she only stood there on the stage with him. Then there's another scene showing Midori and Masamitsu going out on a date of sorts, and Masamitsu gives an explanation on the bottle trick. She's then seen applying makeup, and Mochisute and Akaza come in to start tormenting her. Akaza throws her around a few times until she hits the ceiling, and her body begins to expand in size until she's ten times bigger than everyone else. This was simply an illusion by Masamitsu. He makes sure that she's okay before forcing everyone else to do the chores, leaving Midori with some free time. Masamitsu then influences how much Arashi pays everyone, giving more to the circus members. Mochisute confesses his love to Midori. She looks extremely uncomfortable here. Masamitsu watches and casts an illusion, causing Mochisute to believe he's suffocating in sand, while Masamitsu, appearing as Mochisute but with arms, asks him to take his hand, even though he can't. It's revealed that Midori saw all of this and began to fear Masamitsu due to it. Sute actually died due to Masamitsu shoving dirt into his mouth. An acting company comes to the circus and attempts to hire Midori for a new movie, but Masamitsu rips up the invitation, declining against her will. Masamitsu later finds Midori sulking about it and pushes her up against a mirror, hitting her repeatedly. He then traps her in a glass bottle and goes up on stage. When attempting to do the bottle trick, he hesitates and is insulted by the crowd. He insults them back and casts an illusion, causing their bodies to contort and some even explode. Masamitsu then quits the circus, causing it to have to shut down. He convinces Midori through an illusion, allowing her to see her family to come with him. Masamitsu is seen packing her clothes. She tells Akaza that Arashi ran off with all the money and then proceeds to blame Kanabun for it. Kanabun has a breakdown and is next seen crying as she cuts her hair off. Midori and Masamitsu say goodbye to everyone, who send them off happily. They make their way to the train tracks and Masamitsu goes off to buy food. While walking back, he witnesses a murder and then gets stabbed himself. He casts an illusion on Midori at the last second, forcing her into a time loop so she wouldn't find his body. Midori runs around, passing the same scenery every time until her mind begins to surpass the bounds of the illusion. She sees the circus members, even Muchisute and Masamitsu who are both dead, and Kanabun with her long hair, possibly implying her death too. All are laughing at her. She attempts to hit them with a stick, but they all dodge, flying in the air and performing circus tricks, as they aren't real and can't be hurt by her. She's then left alone in a blank white world of nothing and begins crying loudly.